Medicare Part D is the prescription drug benefit for Medicare beneficiaries under the Medicare program. Uh, it's the biggest change to the Medicare program in 40 years and what it provides is coverage for Medicare beneficiaries so that they can get their medications. Well, one of the reasons the Medicare Part D prescription drug program has been so successful is that we have plans competing. Uh, beneficiaries have a choice of several options, uh, and those plans that are competing for Medicare beneficiary business want to make sure that they're providing good coverage at a good cost. And we have found that the program is uh, very popular with Medicare beneficiaries. Every year we do a survey. Uh, this year we found that there's a 90% satisfaction among Medicare beneficiaries with the Part D prescription drug program. I uh, enrolled in Medicare Part D in 2007 when I retired at the age of 67. When my regular insurance, which also included medic uh, medications and prescriptions, uh, went off, I was able to just jump right into Medicare Part D and still have my uh, prescription drugs covered. And so I've been on the program since then um, for uh, five years now. The National Grange has been involved with Medicare Part D since its inception and adoption in 2003, and then in its implementation in 2006. Uh, prior to Medicare Part D, Medicare didn't contain a prescription drug element and people who worked for the government or a corporation or who belonged to a labor union, they didn't need that essential function as badly as, say, people in rural America who tend to be small business owners, farmers and ranchers, uh, and also tend to be older. The average farmer is over the age of 55 and is far more likely to utilize Medicare and its services. And this Medicare Part D program has just been an excellent resource for them, saving most of them thousands of dollars a year. This year, the open enrollment period for selecting a Medicare prescription drug program starts on October 15th and ends on December 7th. Anyone who is eligible for Medicare is eligible for the Medicare Part D prescription drug program. Uh, they can either be over age 65 or perhaps they're eligible for Medicare because they're disabled. Uh, but all of those people that are eligible for the Medicare program can enroll in a Medicare Part D prescription drug program. There are two ways to enroll. Uh, if you're familiar and like the internet, uh, you can just go to www.medicare.gov and there's a great tool, it's called the Plan Finder, that will walk someone through the process and really help them select a plan that will work best for the medications that they're taking. Um, but if you'd rather talk to a live person, you can call 1-800-MEDICARE and an operator will walk you through what are the options available for you and which prescription drug plan would work best for you. Each year, uh, beginning in, in October and running until early December, you have the opportunity to review your current program and how it stands against other programs av available in your area. And I, I might add that all these programs are offered by private insurance companies. And so what you're doing is you're saying, is my private insurance company uh, still giving me the best deal? And you know, in the course of a year, some of your medications might change and they may or may not be covered. And so uh, you go through a very simple process um, I do it online, and I actually go to the government website that is sponsored by the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, um, and it's four easy steps. Uh, uh, I put in my uh, zip code, I put in my medications, I put in where I uh, get my medications, um, and then I um, click on um, that's it, those, those three things. And then the fourth step, it gives me a list of programs and shows what they cost uh, over the year and what their premiums are and so forth. And so it's a real money saver. Um, I was looking at my out-of-pocket costs last year on prescription drugs, and that was uh, just under $2,500 
Had I not had Medicare Part D, those, those drugs would have cost me around $4,400. Now, the premiums I pay are, are $32.50 a month, so we're paying about $400 for a year. And um, that leaves me with a net savings of $2,000 a year, and uh, that's, that's, that's significant. Medicare Part D has been an excellent program and has benefited so many of our members, saving them thousands of dollars a year, literally. Uh, it's a great program. I love the way it's structured, and I hope it continues into the future. I have a very close friend who has government, who was a government employee, and their insurance carries over, and they probably don't need it, but for somebody who is leaving the private sector, retiring out of the private sector, it's definitely worth 35 or 40 bucks a month to put this into their, um, their Medicare mix, and it's very much worth it.